Good morning, Gray Lake Trove from the WCAT TV studio. I'm Nathan Daigle alongside Ryan Zabota, and these are your morning announcements. All library materials must be returned immediately. If you have lost or damaged an item, please return it to Ms. Rebel. All, all group students from Ms. Suter's chemistry class created a tile representing the recently discovered element Nahonium. This tile will, will be submitted into the contest that appear on the periodic table at project app with 200 entries. Their, their tile has made it to the final four, and now they need their votes to win. Please, please vote for their tile on the school webpage. Students enrolled in AP Literature and Composition should stop by Dr. Snyder's room H101 sometime between now and the end of the, the year to pick up the required summer assignment. All students must pick up materials before leaving for summer break. All students who scheduled AP Human Geography next year are asked to attend a brief meeting today during their 10th period in H205. The Intro to Calculus Summer Assignment may be picked up in S106, Ms. Browner's room, from now until the last day of school. Please remember that it is required assignment due for the class of 2017-2018 school year. You may also get informed of these three summer sessions and held S106 during June, July, and August. Students scheduled to take the AP Bio exam will, next year will, will need to stop in S108 to pick up the AP Bio, Biology Summer Assignment. Please make sure to stop by and do this before the end of the school year. Laptop collection will begin today for sophomores on May 30th for freshmen. Please return all laptops, chargers, and ECAT equipment to H1 H122. Any athletes interested in running cross country in the fall should attend the informational meeting on Tuesday, May 30th at 6 o'clock p.m. in the senior high cafeteria. The summer training program and fall schedule will be discussed as well as fundraising opportunities for our trips. Parents should attend with all interested athletes. Next, the, next week during locker cleanout, the recycling team will collect uh, gently used notebooks and three-ring three ring binders. They will be distributed at the beginning of the next school year to encourage students to recycle and reuse. Uh, recycling team members will, will be posted at East Locker Bank and coordinate with the collection of notebooks, binders, and paper recycling. Please use the green recycling bins for these materials only. Now here's Jared Bachman Stubbs with the weather report. Thanks, Nate, and good morning, Wildcats. Today's gonna be rainy with a high of 75 and a low of 53. Saturday will be rainy with a high of 78 and a low of 58. And Sunday we'll have thunderstorms with a high of 76 and a low of 53. That's all for weather. This is Jared Bachman Stubbs signing off. For WCAT TV, this has been Ryan Sabota and Nathan Daigle. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Stay tuned for Around the Trobe. Good morning, Greater La Trobe. For today's edition of Around La Trobe, I'm your host, Abby Poole, alongside Emily Weaver. To take a better look outside of our school and into the Unity Township community, let's hear from Gianna Ferry with news about the new Mountain View de development. Soon you will start to see a lot of new construction that will take place here in the Mountain View area. This new construction will affect our community in a positive way. You will begin to see a Speedway gas station and back here at Mountain View Financial Center that will have a coffee shop. Okay. Uh the development in this area obviously is going to create jobs which is uh, always a plus for any community it is also going to provide access to fuel it will provide a uh, place for people to pick up groceries fast food many of our neighbors thought this construction would have started a few years ago however there were many challenges Due to the traffic conditions on Route 30 and the D-rated intersection, the project was going to cost a lot of money. The economy five to six years ago when we started the process has been pretty slow. In the last one to one and a half years, um, the economy has picked up. And that's why you're seeing a surge in new businesses going into the area. As Speedway continues to get approval from PennDOT, the old Mountain View Furniture Building, soon to be known as Mountain View Financials, will continue to move ahead. Many businesses will be housed in this unique space. A lot of people like coffee, they like pastries, they like Delalo's food products. Um, we are going to have a tremendous success with the cafe. The new cafe will sell foods from the popular local eatery, Delilo's. With the high traffic here on Route 30, many drivers will be attracted to the new development in the Mountain View area. Reporting from WCAT-TV, I'm Gianna Ferry. Approximately 65,000 bridges are declared unstable in the United States. Reporter RJ Evancho has some information on local bridge construction. 
You may have noticed 982 is more backed up than usual. This is due to a recent bridge repair in downtown Lake Trobe. Considering the bridge's frequent travel and location, this construction is inconveniencing locals. The old bridge in the center of Lake Trobe was meant to be worked on last year, but it's been pushed back until now. Well, the bridge is being repaired. We were told by PennDOT that it could be repaired one more time before it would have to be completely replaced, but the repair should last somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 years. The repairs are being done one side at a time, and traffic will always be flowing into Lake Trobe. Traffic is backed up on 9A2, causing the most delays between 4 and 7 o'clock on weekdays. Some frequent drivers of this road are unhappy with the traffic. Here at Sheets, it gets pretty clogged up. Um, sometimes the traffic gets backed up pretty close to, uh, to the stoplight just up the road here. Besides the repairs done to the road and underneath the bridge, the bridge is getting a new look. We have a really nice design that our, community, that our uh, Latrobe Community Revitalization Program design team worked on. And, um, and there'll be nice lamps across it. Uh, you know, light posts, and it'll be it'll be lit up very nicely. So, but but they're doing more than just surfacing the road. Considering that the construction is not to be done until November, traffic around here will not be letting up any time over summer. But it seems like the final product is worth the wait. For WACT TV News, this is RJ Vancho. The local bridge isn't the only construction going on in the area. From scoring goals to goalie saves, from terrible parking to questionable referees. The Latrobe deck hockey rink has been part of the community for generations. Here's Devin Watson with the story. Now that the athletic field is going to be home to the new LES building, many people are wondering where the new hockey rink is going to be located. Uh, the new deck hockey will be placed at Memorial Drive and Irving Avenue, um, very close to the Memorial Stadium. Participants will have two, two places to park. One will be along Memorial Drive, uh, right across from the deck hockey. The other one would be using the stadium parking lot. Memorial Drive uh, became the choice because of the location right by the stadium. Uh, the footprint that it would take wouldn't take any green space up. The new rink will be a fabricated system with plastic and wood dasher boards made by the athletic company and will look very similar to the Peach Plaza rink. I think it's exciting to see it down near the new stadium or near, near uh, Memorial Stadium, uh, to see all the people come around. Uh, kids have a blast playing the game of hockey. I think they need to add a roof on the uh, bleacher or benches and have more bleachers. It'd be nice to have a lot of space to park at so it's not real crowded. The old hockey rink also holds many special memories to both players and coaches. My most memorable moment at the old rink is throwing Devin out of a game for slashing another opponent. When um, all three levels of Deck Cats won the Latrobe tournament. When I scored a goal. The league says that they plan on having the rink built and ready to go by the start of the fall season. Reporting for WCAT TV, I'm Devin Watson. Fishmas is over. Fishmas season is, fishing season is underway and people are hooked on the trout. Here's Tato Bardo with more about this local attraction. Fishing is a popular sport for people of all ages, but in Westmoreland County, it's a lifestyle. In 2016 alone, over 24,000 annual fishing licenses were sold. Fishing in the Lake Trobe Ligonier area is a staple for most of the locals because it's something everyone can enjoy. Fishing is a good way to spend time with your friends, kids, and grandkids. Choosing your tackle to bring in the big one may be tough, but both live and artificial tackle work. In our area, butterworms has recently been on a hot streak. Well, I'll tell you, uh, butterworms have been ever popular, and they've been in short supply because of uh, fires that have been in Peru. But luckily here at Longbridge, we've had uh, ample stock and quantity. Whether you're buying live bait or artificial, the fish will bite. At Longbridge, they have a variety to choose from. Now we have red worms, night crawlers, red and gold mealworms, minnows, always very popular as well, and maggots, which are a hometown favorite. People all have their preferences on where to fish. In the Laurel Highlands, most bodies of water are stocked from a hatchery. Though not being natural, it gives you a better chance for catching bigger fish. Fishing with little kids can be an unforgettable moment. I had a chance to talk to some kids and see what they liked about fishing. 
We did casting office and we even saw a group of Palomino that I have called hashtag Palomino group. <laughs> and we've been seeing more fish lately these years. Fishing is something that everyone can enjoy no matter what your age is. I'm Tato Bardo reporting for WCAT TV. Thanks for tuning into this edition of Around La Trobe. Tune in next week for more in-depth stories about our La Trobe community.